Well, if they're ever gonna do a modern version of Bullet, they're probably gonna include two vehicles like this, a Resto Mod 68 Mustang and a Hot Rod 68 Charger. So we're gonna drive these cars? Yeah, we're gonna try and reenact the greatest chase scene ever. That's and awesome. Listen, if it would, if it's my choice, do you care which one you drive? Not at all. If it was my choice, I'd really like to drive the Mustang, if that's okay with it. Right. I really identify with Steve McQueen. Do you? Yeah. I thought he'd identify a little more with Frank Cannon, maybe. Nice LTD, huh. hair on, sweating that's, off the brow. That's, that's nice, too. <laughs> all right, so should we go? Yeah, all absolutely. Right, <laughs> What Frank Cannon doesn't understand is that car is in for service, it doesn't run. The bastard got me again. What we started out with is a 440, stroked it to 500 cubic inches with lots of horsepower. Then we put in a 727 transmission, nice reliable transmission, but not fast enough on the highway with a 411 rear end. So we put a gear bender's overdrive in. As he said, he likes to go fast and do burnouts. We put a nine inch in it. We made sure it was bulletproof. We put on some great big wheels and tires. We got 19s in the back, 18s in the front. We needed those because of the great big brakes. We got bare system all the way around, four wheel disc brakes. Because he liked the idea of the handling of a Ferrari, we went with a tubular custom front end. We've got coilover shocks in the front so the car goes around corners. In the back, we went with a super stock spring to make sure it had a nice ride but would hook up and go in a straight line. You know, you should be ashamed of yourself. A car that's in for service at your shop doesn't run. You single-handedly ruined the production values of what could have been a great segment that could have maybe won a prize because I wasn't in it. <laughs> Do you really think I'm going to let you drive one of my customers' cars? Well, that's a good point, too. They specifically always say, anybody can drive it in the shop except for Tom. I mean, Frank. <laughs> 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 but let's, let's face it, all of resto rotting today is all about having fun in your new cars. And actually, they're old cars that perform like new cars. And it doesn't always have to cost six figures. You can slap on a set of wheels, you can do it on a budget, or you can go whole hog like either one of these and do it to the nines. Either way, they're a ton of fun to drive. You can spend six figures, you can spend, if you're Chip Foose, seven figures on one of these, or you can spend 30 grand, bolt on a set of wheels on a nice cheap 318 Charger. It looks all the same and the fun's all the same as well.